David, uh, how do you feel your game is and how close to playoff ready do you think you are in the team? Yeah, my playoffing lately, I feel feel good. Like I feel my skating is better than of the start of the season, so I feel, feel good. And overall, our team, yeah, I've, it's getting end of the season, so we still have a couple couple games, and we want to to best prepare for the for the playoff. What inspired your uh, goal celebration last night? It was just emotion. Like it's nothing nothing to prepare, so it was emotion. Outside of the uh, the goal, what did you like about how your line was able to impact the game last night? Yeah, I think we are we are trying to play hard every shift, trying to to have good forecheck and keep the puck in ozone. Try to try to be good in in D zone, and I think it it last couple of games it, it worked pretty good. What do, of, what do you think of the way Ryan's been playing on the line recently, David? Yeah, I like to playing with him. He's he's he's, he's playing simple, so I know what to what to expect from him. So it's. Yeah, I like playing with him. What's he like behind the scenes? He's a good guy, great teammate, funny guy, so he's, it's good to be around, around him. What stands out about Dewar? Yeah, smart, smart player. So very easy, very easy to play with him. But great, great, great player. What's changed on the penalty kill in the last week or so? Yeah, we did a couple, couple changes, and I think it's, it's working a little bit better. So hopefully we can build up and keep going like that. How important was a win like last night against a team you could see in the playoffs? Like, what does that mean to the group? I think it doesn't mean too much for us. We're just focusing on on every every game right now and trying to to get as many points as we can and get get ready for the playoff. How much does the uh, the game actually change when the playoffs begin? How different is the playoff? Game? Yeah, for sure. It's it's always a little bit different. The pace is higher and uh, the intensity is higher. So. It's a, but it's always fun to to play in playoffs, right? That, that's the reason why we're playing this game. Do you do you think this team has more snarl this year than, than in years past? More roughness, more toughness? I think we will see. <laughs> what stands out to you about what Austin is doing right now? Yeah, it's unbelievable, right? Like second second year he scored 60, 60 goals, so not so many players can do it, so I'm happy for him. Do you feel like the group in here is like kind of pushing him? A lot of guys have said they want to see 70. Like, do you get a sense that people are really, the team is really into it? Yeah, for sure. It's, I think he can do it, right? So, everyone, everyone, like, wants to, to, to help him to, to achieve this. So, you're a guy who prides himself on the defensive side of the game. So you would be like, in theory, going up against him if you're on the other side. How would you describe the challenge a defensive player faces going up against Austin right now? I think he can he can score from every position, right? He can score everywhere on, from from the ice, so it's it's tough to defend him. But yeah, great player. Morgan, where are you at? I guess in the recovery process. Yeah, I feel good. I think it's just kind of uh, day by day right now. Um, so we'll see you tomorrow, but uh, I feel good. How tricky is it to get up the field? When, you know, there's not a lot of practice time this time. Yeah, yeah, it's challenging. Um, you know, it takes a lot of hard work, but you know, we have a great staff here to help out. And, um, he, I mean, you all have to go through it at one point. Um, so I think it's a good exercise and, uh, I mean, a good opportunity to learn. What happened in uh, Raleigh, I guess it was? So what, how did you sustain it? Um, it's nothing major, nothing I really want to get into. It's just uh, just about, you know, trying to take the time and uh, just make sure you're right uh, for playoffs. What did you like about how the group started the first two periods? It was great. Um, you know, that's a good team. They came into our building, um, obviously playing them last year in playoffs. There's always, you know, a little bit extra beef. Um, but I thought they played well. Mark, I know that obviously you want to be down tonight, of course you do. Mm -hmm. But can you recognize the grind that you guys are going through generally mm -hmm. and getting a bit of rest, if you will, at this time and how important that may be in two or three weeks? Yeah, I think it's um, important, obviously. I think at this time of year, it's all about I mean, doing whatever you can to to manage your, your energy and your health. So um, you're ready to go in two weeks' time. You know, that's the most important thing. Um, so whatever needs to happen, um, you, I mean, you just got to do. Um, you know, if there's there's parts of the game you got to work on, um, you use your practice time wisely, and then you know, other than that, you just get your rest. How playoff ready do you think this team is right now? Uh, I think we feel good. Obviously, we have about two weeks here to kind of 
keep working at it, um, but I think everyone's feeling good. Um, I think we believe in ourselves, and you know we're a confident bunch. So um, I think we're looking forward to getting going. We all know a playoff game is very different from a regular season game. But can you sort of define how different it is, like what the intensity level? Is? No, I mean I think it's just that. I think it's just a, a, an uptick of, of intensity um, and standards, um, and and then it just kind of takes on. Uh, you know, over the course of a series, it just kind of takes on a life of its own um, and just gets more competitive. What do you think of what Austin's doing? Mm -hmm. right um, uh, very impressive. Um, he's playing great hockey for us. He's not just scoring, but he's doing lots of good things. And, you know, his, his line has been playing good for us. Um, so, you know, again, it's just, uh, it's just nice to watch. Is this something the team can get behind for the, let's see how high he can go, how, how much he can Absolutely. Um, and, you know, I think we want that for for everyone. Um, I mean, you want to support each other. You want to give each other a, a, a chance to play well and, you know, do, uh, I mean, if you're in a hunt or in a chase or something like that, uh, your teammates are always going to be behind you. You always want to support those guys. So um, he's obviously doing just a fine job uh, of, of putting the puck in the net. What do you think of the core yourself and Joel? Yeah, they've been great. Um, I think a stretch like this where um, you miss some people is a, is a good chance for people to get in the lineup and, and, and to play more minutes and take more responsibility and stuff. So um, I think this has been a good example of, of that and our depth, and uh, that's always a good sign going into the playoffs. In a tough stretch for TJ, gets the belt last night, seems mm -hmm. to be kind of back on yeah. What's your sense of how he's handled this last night? He's been great. He's been great. I thought he played well last night. Um, he's a great teammate, and he's he, he's been working extremely hard. And I mean, he's a guy that again, you know, between now and playoffs, you just got to do what you got to do to get to put your body in the best position possible, and you know, get your rest and just be ready to go for that. Is there an ideal number of games that you get in before the playoffs Um, you know, I don't think I want to put a number on it. Um, it's just a matter of of being ready to go. So I'd say more than one. Um, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys were doing your thing out there. Uh, William was on his own pad doing yeah. his own thing. What have you learned about his We told him he couldn't skate with us because he's got his own program. Um, so he, <laughs> he had to find his own ice. But he's got his process, and um, you know he works extremely hard at it. And it's, 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 it's clearly been something that he's improved over time with. And he's he spent a lot of time uh, tweaking. And he's got it to a point now where um, it's working. So it's all good. Uh, what does a win like last night do for this group? Uh, it's big. It shows that we're capable of performing well against good teams. Um, I think uh, we showed up and down the lineup that everybody can contribute, and that's a that's a big thing come playoff time. They're a very stingy opponent. What did you guys do well to generate offense? Uh, got to the got to the crease, got to the blue paint, got in front of their goalie, um, and then we we're just throwing pucks in there. Uh, you know, the guys got good sticks and guys are making good plays too, but a lot of it ended up at the top of the crease and banging, banging them home. What uh, is making the penalty kill more efficient? Uh, we're just second guessing less. We're making good reads. Um, we're reacting rather than thinking too much, I think. And um, I think we just are reading off each other better too. We're anticipating. Um, feeling feeling free to go chase pucks and, and put pressure on them, and I think that's rushing the other team's plays. What stands out about the Lightning? Uh, fast team, skilled team. Um, they got a good power play too, so the PK is going to be imperative again, and I think that's um, going to be a focus for us is staying out of the box, and then um, if we are killing, making sure that we're, we're hard on those guys and hard on their top people because those guys are driving that team. What is the chance to play in the Stanley Cup playoffs? Getting closer by the day here. Yeah, uh, it's exciting. Um, getting that itch a little bit more. Um, definitely watch a fair share of Stanley Cup playoffs, so it'll be exciting to play in it for sure. What? Yes, really pace yourselves over the next few weeks. I mean, during games, well, just like day like today and that sort of thing. How important that is? Uh, yeah, I think I think your rest is that much more of a focus right now uh, at this point in the season. It's um, getting to be at the end of it here, um, but it's also every game is so important, and your your approach to every game is nearly a playoff game at this point because you want to be ready and you can't just flip it on like a switch come playoff time. What is today like for you? Because we, you know, I don't know when you find out, but you know, we're coming in thinking it's going to be a practice today. Yeah, uh, similar to me too. Um, come in, eat breakfast. Um, think it's going to be a practice. Go through my warm up. See, there's no practice. Um, do a lot of a lot more video probably. Get the the mental reps more than anything, and then. Um, get on the bike, do uh, do some rolling, stuff like that, just to get the body feeling good and get the, the blood flowing again. What video do you, do you watch? Is it your shifts or the upcoming game, or what are you watching? Um, I'll watch some of my shifts maybe later today. But as a team, we just we, we go over like previous um, 
previous things like the PK and, and stuff like that and just systems. So uh, William was out there, uh, even though it was an optional or whatever, doing his own thing on his own separate pad. I'm just curious, as a young guy like, or an experienced guy in the league, what have you learned about his process and what, what makes him tick? Um, I think he, he's not afraid to do what, what, he, what he needs to do to be ready. Um, and he, I think he knows his body really well and um, he competes at a very high level. So um, when he needs a day like this to, to feel the ice and um, get his touches in, I think I respect that and I, I understand that um, he puts a ton of work in. So it's good to see him out there um, and I'm sure he'll be ready tomorrow no matter what he does. Sheldon, uh, how does uh, no practice today kind of impact the guys who are working their way back from injury, Morgan and Mitch in particular? Well, I don't think it, it impacts them other than, you know, they don't get the benefit of, of having uh, those extra reps and, you know, as close to a game as you can get, as what you can replicate in practice. They, they don't get the benefit of that, but it doesn't impact our decision making in terms of their availability. Um, it's just on, more on them to manage it and make sure they can maximize what they could get out there. What is their availability then for tomorrow? Uh, Morgan will be available uh, for us. Uh, Mitch, I haven't had a chance to discuss with him here yet uh, um, since he's come off the ice, but you know, I think with him we're, we're just going to feel it out and talk to him um, and, and likely make it more of a, a target for the weekend. What uh, went into today uh, not practicing? We've just, we felt, a, we felt good that uh, the group has responded when we've gone towards rest. Um, in particular, I look at last week, you know, at a time when we didn't like anything about the, the New Jersey game and how that went and, and opted for a rest and a meeting and, and the team responded very well in that moment. And uh, we just think it's important to bank these days here right now so maybe we can ensure that we're, we're rested and fresh. Uh, you know, starting Saturday, we're going gonna to go into five games in eight nights and you can't control uh, those that schedule. Uh, right now we have a little bit more control about how we handle things and, and the, the rest uh, piece, I think, uh, uh, you know, seems to help our group. I think we've we've we have felt like the more rested uh, team in the games we played here of late, uh, in terms of how our guys have played and the jump and the, and the energy that we have. So we're trying to capitalize on that as best we can this time of year. You've got a, a number of young players that don't have a great deal of experience preparing for playoffs. Holmberg, Robertson, McNad, uh, McMahon. How do you think they're coming around to the whole idea that the playoffs are facing them and, and they've got to get ready? I mean, I think all those guys that you mentioned are developing well. You know, they, they made a, a great impact on the game last night for us. Um, they've been playing well, you know, playing together, all three of them. Uh, you know, it creates an additional challenge for them. They don't have uh, the experience to, to lean on with others. They're trying to sort of, you know, feel it out for themselves. Um, in terms of the playoffs themselves coming, I, I think... You know, playoffs in the NHL, of course, are a far different animal, but these guys have all played playoff games. You know, Matthew Nice in particular played for us just last season, but, you know, the the, uh, the the pressure situations, you know, that they play in college or World Juniors or, you know, Pontus Holmberg was a playoff MVP in, in Sweden, you know, when he played before he came over here. So these guys have all played in, you know, that time of the year before, so they have a sense of what it's like. To me, it's just more about their continued development in the NHL. Uh, less about playoffs necessarily, but more about their, their development here. And, and uh, to that end, we've been really happy with them. You know, they've they've all uh, they've all done a good job. Last night, if made a decision in the third period. I, it was you know partially about about just going with other guys that I felt could get it done for us. But but also you know just when they've given up two goals in the third period, and now confidence starts to wane a little bit, and, and all of that for young players, you got to sort of protect them in that moment as well. You know, as much as I was exposing them to some tough matchups um, on purpose, and to me, they were doing well in that in that regard early in the game, and and then in the third, it didn't go as well. They're not all on them. Um, there's other elements to it, but, but you just want to you know, give those guys continued chances to grow, and in some cases, uh, protecting them is part of that. Is that part of what went into Matt's ice time last night? I think just 6:57. 
Yeah, well, that's part of it, but it's also he's not on the penalty kill or the power play on a night like last night. And there's a fair bit of special teams, so that that in itself gets him. You know, that's why he's below 10 minutes. You know, probably just because of the lack of special teams. But you know, obviously, you know, once the game got a little bit tighter there in the third period, I opted to just go with three lines. So they were, uh, you know, their, their their minutes were were less as a result of that. So I, know, I, know, I know I'm sitting in the living room, so I'll be out for a bit. But if you get Morgan back tomorrow night, can you start getting at playoff deep or deep pairs you can settle on do you think is that get a little more tomorrow well I think uh, we can get closer to it perhaps but I think if we learned anything it's just that we've got nine defensemen that can, that can all play and can do a good job for us so you know we, we've got time here left and we don't know what the time will uh, tell us in terms of you know those right uh, right deep pairs we don't know who's going to be healthy who's going to be not we don't even know who our opponent is going to be you, you know you got all these sorts of things that will play itself out what we like is we've got options we've got we've got nine players on defense now that have like I said, have all done a good job, have all played against good teams, have all helped us win games, and have been flexible in who they've played with and, and what the roles have been. So that gives us lots of options, you know, and, and uh, you know, the, the, the time we have left will, will help us make those appropriate decisions. You guys are, uh, again, sort of the same theme, but you're a very mature team, an experienced team, with high expectations of itself, yet you've really brought along a lot of young players or inexperienced players. How impressed are you as a coach with the overall development of some of those younger guys. Yeah, I think we, you know, we feel good about it. The guys have done a good job. It's a reflection of the, of the talent that the guys have, um, and the decisions that are made to bring guys in. I mean, obviously, you got Nyes and Holmberg and Robertson are three draft picks, but then you, you know, you, you talk about McMahon and his development and and uh, his identification coming in as a free agent and working through the you know. Uh, ECHL, AHL, and to now the NHL, and then you know you look at other examples like um, Benoit and how he's come in, and Timmins, it was a trade, and how his development, and he's playing a, 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 a very important role for us right now at a critical time of year when we're trying to clinch a playoff spot. I'm sure I'm leaving some guys out there, but even Dewar, you know, him coming in with the timing of his trade and uh, you know what he's brought to us with the injuries we have, with, you know, and, and the impact on special teams with penalty kill defensive responsibilities like all these guys have come in and done a good job which is a credit to to the management team scouting team and our development team and and then you know our coaching staff the assistant coaches done a really good job to prepare these guys work with them every day and and the players of themselves of course have done a nice job why do you think a uh, high committee approach can be effective for a team take you on a long uh, playoff run well i th i just think it's, it's each team has a different different way of going about things you know and there's not just one way to to do it um i think a by committee approach allows you to spread out the minutes and responsibilities it also keeps everybody to regular rhythm there's some positives that come to it uh, there's the confidence that the coaching staff shows in, in the players to go out and play against anybody i think we're you know uh, when healthy i think we're going to be in that situation uh, you know where we can trust guys to, to play in different spots and because of the injuries and such we've had um, you know, almost every single guy on our team at different times uh, with our defense has had to play against top competition to help us get through tough situations. So that uh, gives the coaching staff confidence that you can then pass along to the players. And I just think with the, the skill sets and experiences that we have with our, within our decor, um, we can deploy them that way. You know, I don't think there is a very, you know, a clear, um, you know, clear pairing that you'd say needs to absolutely play in this situation I think the group is optimized uh, you know where they're sharing the responsibility and then the forwards have to be connected to it as well to do the job